It's a big ass blue one. Look at the size of the claw. Oh. Holy crap! Out of the tunnel! Out of the tunnel! Out of the tunnel! How the hell did you find that? Oh. <laughs> thing literally lives in that tunnel. It's so epic. Oh yeah, that's a fish. That's a fish. Let's go. Hopefully it's a tuna. Oh my god, there's tons of fish in there. There's movement in that trap. Oh. Okay, hold on. We have a really good fish in here. Oh no, anxiety creeps up on me Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over, I got someplace that I gotta be It won't leave My friends, hey, get out of your comfort zone It's a blessing in disguise Get out of what you call home, your name is written See, a lot of the spots we go to when we film has just tons of trash. This is just literally the first thing I see when I walk here. Tennis ball, we got a plastic bag, we got another plastic bag. All this stuff is super, super bad for the environment, guys. That's why every time, every fishing spot we go to, the first thing we do is say, okay, where's the obvious trash? Let's pick it up because guess what? You know what this harms? This harms marine life. This harms the ocean. So many marine animals die each year from plastic. I can't even imagine just what Florida, how Florida's affected with the trash, because literally it's everywhere. Even if you go 10 miles offshore, there's trash. Fish guys, we do our part at least picking up our trash, picking up other people's trash. If you guys want to help us with the trash, help support the guys, support the fish guys, go to joinfishguy.com, put your email in. I'm telling you, big things coming in regards to this. We're going to keep our waters safe and keep our waters clean. That's our biggest goal over everything. Fish Guy Shop is our biggest goal, cleaning up the trash, saving our oceans, keeping them clean biggest goal so let's get this trash in the bucket take it back home and throw it in the garbage or the recycling where it belongs baby Jack hurry it's a big crab huge he's huge guys get him Chris Got him. it's a big ass blue one look at the size of the claw oh Chris whoa man. holy get crap out, out, of out, of out of the tunnel out of the tunnel out of the tunnel, <laughs> out of the tunnel. How the hell did you find that? <laughs> Out of the tunnel, dude. Literally right when we got to the spot, guys, I found a blue crab that we have never caught before. We always see them at this spot and they are so fast that they go right back into their burrowing hole. But this guy was hanging out in the tunnel. So I got a chance to actually scoop him up and I wanted to give you guys my point of view with the GoPro when I actually found him because I thought it was a really cool clip. Those things are absolutely amazing. That thing lives in there thing literally lives in that tunnel. It's so epic. Alright, listen up ladies and gents. It's a beautiful day. I'm taking my window, I'm taking my shot. It's a little windy, it might be a little rough offshore, but we're gonna give it a try. Now here's the thing, none of the bait stores actually have what I want. The specific bait I want. I want to fish pilchards today because there's some tunas out there and I want to catch a tuna. So I'm not going to get goggle eye this time and I'm a big believer in live bait. I only usually fish live bait but I remember back in the day when I used to fish a lot I used to just troll these guys around and I actually used to slay. Literally I used to slay with these things. I used to catch tons of tunas. They're just little they're just little x wraps that you troll. They look like uh, you know bait fish. They swim around the water. You just troll them around. I used to catch a ton of fish with these with these guys. So, I said that every time it's nice, I'm going out. I'm going to stick to my word. It's nice today. I'm not giving myself the option of not going. Okay? I have to go. Even if I don't catch, I'm going and I want to slay. Now, if you guys look at this thing, this thing right here, it's literally just a piece of plastic with hooks on it. But guess what? It looks like a fish, swims like a fish. And what we're looking for is the reaction bite. We don't want the fish to, you know, be examining this thing and say, you know what? That doesn't look like a fish. I'm not going to eat that. This thing's going to speed right by them like this. And that fish has to make a decision right then and there. Reaction decision. Am I going to eat this? Or am I going to let it swim by? Sometimes the fish decides, I got to eat this. I got to eat this to survive. And they go after it and they eat it. And guess what, baby? fish on. Let's make sure the old boat starts first before we even, uh, you know. Oh, oh. See? Even Fish Guy Chris makes mistakes. You gotta use the kill switch. There we go. Hearn like champs. Fish Guy J. We have changed his name from Fish Guy Hack to Fish Guy J. Fish Guy Hack is for the OGs. They're gonna be interchangeable. Fish Guy Hack to Fish Guy J. Yeah. 
It goes back and forth. Fish guy Jay's fired up. He's ready to go. Shades on, rods in. All right, we're going out, baby. Look at this day. Look at that water. Crystal blue. Tons of boats going out right now. So that could be a good sign because uh, the ocean could be nice, but we don't know until we get out there. So we shall see. But there's a freaking armada back there yes. going offshore right now. So cross your fingers. Here. Got the GoPro on. It's definitely two foot to three foot. Well, we got lines in the water. Hopefully we catch something. The water is actually really good, really blue, which is really good. So we'll see what happens. Oh my God, look at that already. Holy shit. We, we got tunas down there for sure, man. Already fishing. Keep it in gear. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Wait, leave it on? Yeah, just a little bit in gear. No, it's not. It's a fish. In gear. A little faster or no? Oh yeah, that's a fish. That's a fish. No, just just you're the boat. You're, you're on the boat. Right when Brooke calls me, I'm on, baby. Let's go. Hopefully it's a tuna. Yeah, let, you know what? Let's go right back over that rack. Shit, he's coming right to the boat. Watch out. It's so weird fighting these fish on the Yozuris. Cause you never know, like, it's just weird. He might've gotten sharked. There was a big run he did. He came off. Shut up. Come on. Let's do it guys. All right. Let's do it right here. Jack, turn the boat. Right. We were defeated guys. We were defeated. This is why I don't like fishing without live bait. I'm more of a live bait guy, but I won't give up on uh, on the method. I will keep trying. When it stays like that, when it's a little rough, I will keep trying. Let's try again. What do you think? I think we try again. You know, my plan was to get redemption today, but as you can see, Florida, man, Florida's awesome. Windy. You get a you get a two hour window. You know the weather changes every two seconds. I was gonna buy some pilchard today. I was gonna go out with Jack. It was gonna be a great time. But instead, we're buckling down and we're gonna do something I've never done before. A rainy lightning storm fish trap. Right now, we're gonna try to catch some fish in this thunderstorm. Do not try this at home, kids. Now listen, fish get extra frisky when it's raining. You know they get extra frisky. They get extra fired up. The ocean's a little stirred up. The canals. So there could be a different target species that we may catch today. So although it is raining, Fish Guy Chris is gonna put his life on the line. He's gonna try to catch us a fish today because I was 0 for 2 yesterday. 0 for 2 out on the ocean. I got two really good bites, but like I mentioned, I was fishing plastic and I think my hooks were a little bit rusted. So Fish Guy Chris, he messed up. Should have fished brand new hooks. He fished the old hooks instead. Not a very smart idea, but it is pouring guys. It's dumping rain. We're gonna try to catch a fish in this thing. Wow, look at this rain. You know what's funny? It was flat calm today out in the ocean. And of course, right when it's flat calm, it starts raining. That sucks. My fish trap's in my car. I gotta be quick. Lightning fast. Oh my God. I'm soaked. I'm soaked, guys. All right, now I gotta drop this trap. Okay, it's thundering. All right, now I gotta go drop this trap. I already got shrimp in here. I'm gonna drop it and sprint back, guys. And then we're gonna let this thing ferment. Here we go. Okay. I did it, it's still thundering. Guys, it stopped raining. It stopped raining, it's still a little gray, but there's no more rain, so that's good. I won't get wet while I'm pulling this trap. So as you can see, I put the trap right along this wall here. I just put it right on the piling. So it stayed nice and safe. And I see fish in there already. Oh my God, there's tons of fish in there. Oh my God. Can you zoom down in there? There's movement in that trap. I'm trying to get a good view for you guys, but there's there could be a crab in there. Who knows what there's there could be in there, but I definitely see movement all around the trap. The shrimp brings action. So just in case, we're gonna fill this guy up right now, just in case there's something good in there. 
so he can take home. Oh yeah, there's tons of fish around it. Tons of fish around it, man. All right, let's fill this up. Perfect, now we can really see what we got in the trap. Let's do it, baby. Now, if you guys haven't seen this video right here, this was one of the file fish I caught at my dock, literally last week. Epic fish, it's an alien, changes colors, it's doing great, it's in the pond right now. It's awesome, I love that fish. We named him Oreo the file fish. He's kind of a beast, not gonna lie. So, let's pull this trap, see what we got. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. you hear that? Oh yeah, we got fish in there, let's see what's in there. Oh, okay, hold on, we have a really good fish in here. Hold on, we have a really good fish in here. No way, let's go. If he's, I hope he's big enough. Let me put him in here. We have a serious contender in this, in this right here. Let's go. Oh my God, is that a baby cuda? Look at that. A baby barracuda in the fish trap. Oh, he's got some shrimp in his mouth. He just spit it up, I think. And of course, a puffer. A baby cuda. Now listen, guys, I don't know if you remember this barracuda right here. <gasps> no way. <laughs> oh, he's too big, Jack. He's too big, Jack. He's too big. He's too big, Jack. Look at him. Jack, he's too big. Well, there, sure goes, you don't want to the there goes that rig. Look at that cuda. That thing's pissed. He's striped out. <laughs> they gotta. They have to be over 15 inches. This guy's 36, so that's too big. Because if we were to get like a grouper that was 10 inches, you'd eat it. Look at that critter. Wow. Too uh, big for the pond. He'd eat everything. Let's put it back. <laughs> that's too big. That was epic, though. Yeah, let's go eat that torpedo. Killing machine. Hopefully, we'll get one with stripes tomorrow, baby. Saw that filtered smoke in two seconds. It's not even half the size of the one we caught on the beach. This thing is like eight pounds. The one we caught on the beach was like 30. That's crazy. Yeah, he's good. He's about to kick. Look at that. Come on. There he goes. See it, Kuda? He's too big for us, bro. Should have ate him. Could have ate him. We need one half that size, so. But that, that giant barracuda that was at my dock, that could have been a breeder. That could be the child of that giant barracuda I caught. Let's get this uh, puffer out. Stead puff. Look at him. That's a giant, but we don't want you. Good job, fellow soldier. He probably brought all the commotion in that fish trap and then uh, brought that cuda. Look at that cuda, dude. Look at that cuda. Look at him from up top. Is a baby barracuda, ladies and gentlemen. Now, it had to be 15 inches. He doesn't look 15 inches, but let's have some fun anyways. We got our ruler here. We're gonna have some fun with it. So. 12, 13, 14, 15. That's a big fish. So even if we do this, this critter keeper isn't even 15 inches. So we cannot keep this barracuda, which is sad because he would be perfect for the mini pond to grow out for the big pond. That would have been gas money. Look at that cuda, guys. Sharp teeth. I don't know if you guys can see the teeth. One of the sharpest teeth in the ocean that'll cut you right up if you're not careful with them. Look at his little fin, the colors on him, black and gray. Got that nice pattern. That is a baby cuda. Look at him on top, dude. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh, man, I wish that we could keep him like eight inches. That would be epic. Cause that would keep this guy in my tank, honestly. See him from the side, let him smoke everything in the tank. That'd be epic. But sadly, we cannot keep him. We're just gonna enjoy him for a second. Absolute so. Look, he's waving high to the camps. He's waking, he's waving high to all the fish guys. Okay, now he stopped waving. He doesn't like to wave. Anymore. Wow, okay, that, I did not expect that. A rainy day fish trap with lightning brings us a baby cuda. Forrest, look. Look at this. What is that? That's a cuda. That's a cuda. He's a big fish dog, dude. Every time I come home from the boat, what do you got? He loves to lick the fish. He's a psycho, honestly. He's sitting right by the fish. He doesn't want to leave the fish. He does not want to leave. Give me five. Good boy. Okay. Now it's time back in the canal where he belongs. Swim out, buddy. You're free. Let's go. Look at him. Look at him! That thing is sick! I could probably scoop him up again. <laughs> He's, He's so just up. sinking down to the bottom right now. <laughs> sinking down to the bottom. That is epic. That is absolutely epic, guys. Baby Cuda in the fish trap. He's swimming out. He's trying to find his spot. I guarantee you he lives right under this jet ski dock. Because I always come out here and see that big Barracuda right underneath the jet ski dock. And we caught his child, but we had to let him go because he wasn't 15 inches. Still waiting for that nice, I want a perfect 15 incher. Not a 25 incher. A 15, perfect 15. Go see your dad again, okay? The big 35 inch we caught. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't seen, click here, watch this video. It's a good one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.